Tennessee lawmakers are one step closer to taking authority away from local boards of health. A bill that would make health boards solely advisory passed in the state house and now it moves on to the Senate. Some local legislators voted in its favor, others remain strongly against it. Six on your side's Elizabeth Kubel joining us now here in the studio with a breakdown of what's happened so far and what comes next, Elizabeth? Well, Bo, throughout the pandemic here in Knox County, the Board of Health has put several regulations in place. Things like that mask mandate, social gathering limit, and that bar and restaurant curfew. The sponsor and proponents of this bill that we're talking about here want to strip the board of that policymaking power because they say its members are not elected. But opponents say the legislation is dangerous amid a pandemic. House Bill 7 and receive the Constitution majority. I declare it passed. A step forward for a Board of Health bill passed by the State House in a 67 26 vote. The House is the first step. It was a big lift. Um, it was a tough lift, but I'm, I'm glad it passed just for this for the sake of all the counties in our state, not just those who currently have health boards. Representative Jason Zachary has spearheaded the legislative push to shift the state's independent health boards, including Knox counties, to only advisory roles. The final bill that passed the House simply says that during a health emergency, the health board becomes an advisory board to the mayor. It simply does not allow the health board to overrule our county executive that we elect to run our county. But some Knoxville lawmakers disagree. Representative Sam McKenzie spoke on the House floor. What does being unelected have to do with the health of a nation, the health of a county, the health of a community? Uh, it, it, seem, it just seems to me that, 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 that this is a, um, an, an unneeded a law. He voted no alongside his Democratic colleague, Representative Gloria Johnson. These people were appointed by the elected officials because they are experts. And when I get sick, I go to a doctor. When I get sick, I don't go to an electrician. Fabulous folks, but I want doctors, nurses, public health officials making these decisions in times of a pandemic. With sides drawn in the House, the bill now heads to the Senate, where it will be heard in the Health Committee next week. And today I did also reach out to the Knox County Mayor's Office and the Health Department for their responses to this. A spokesperson for Mayor Glenn Jacobs told me it would be premature to comment right now. As for the Health Department, they say they will continue to follow and abide by whatever legislation is passed. Lori. All right, Elizabeth, and you, if you want to see how your representative voted, that full list is posted with this story on WATE.com.